Hi, I'm Curtis Javot, and I'm going to introduce you all to Unstock, content tailored to your unique vision. So what is Unstock? Well, it's not stock photography, I'll tell you that much. The best way to describe Unstock is to go through an actual story around it. I'd like to introduce you all to Jake. Here's Jake, and Jake has a problem. Actually, he's over there, by the way. So he has a client who needs a picture of the bronze fonts with a pink tutu on. So he says, well, maybe I can just Photoshop something together. So he heads out to his favorite stock photo sites and says, where's the bronze fonts? This is what he gets on iStock, and that literally is all the photos for fonts by himself. Some are imitations, by the way, including the pickle, apparently. <laughs> he then heads over to Shutterstock, and here he gets one photo under fonts. Have a problem here. He then finds out about Unstock, and it comes to the rescue. So how does it work? Jake logs in and unstock to unstock.com and puts out an Unstock quest. He gives it a title, a brief description, and says, I'm willing to pay you $20 to give me the bronze fonts with a pink tutu on. And let's meet Karen. Hi, Karen. Hello. So Karen's out in the Milwaukee area, happens to see our tweet this weekend, and says, you know what? I'm down here. I may even know where a pink tutu is. And meet the fonts in a pink tutu. So Jake wins. He didn't even leave his office. He got the stock image he needed, or unstock in this case, because we're going to do exclusive rights. He owns the photo art right after the transaction is complete. The rest of the photos we actually will dispose of. So how does this work for us for a revenue model? Well, we charge $24 total. So we do a $4 charge, 20% markup on the actual bill billable rate that they're planning on playing. Our transaction costs us $1.22. We only get $2.78. Doesn't sound too appealing, does it? So here's the market potential. Stock photography, 2012, was $2.8 billion market. If we can get half a percent of that, it's a $14 million market for us. And that's only if we go after the market that currently uses stock photography and doesn't hire somebody outside of stock sites. Here's the breakdown of how we see our users. 50% photographers, uh, that'll be an amateur slash pro as well. Um, we go after agencies, small businesses, and probably large corporation marketing departments as well. Partners we'd like to use, we're going we're gonna to run our site on Amazon. We actually have a scalable backend that we've started building out. Um, we're going to use Stripe for the payment process end-to-end, -end, including paying the people. Uh, we're looking at metro area creative agencies, area photographers and camera shops to start plugging us um, and getting photographers to use our site. And how are we planning on rolling this out? We'd like to work local first. We'd like to work in the Milwaukee area, Madison and Chicago. We'll reach out to some agencies. Apparently they don't work on the weekends. Um, and we'll actually try to get them to invest in, and we'll get some photographers along with that. We have a lot of other opportunities. If we start allowing mobile users, think about everybody in this room who can probably shoot uh, some photography or videography even um, off your phone, you could get paid for that. Um, we also enter other creative markets like videography. We also talked about uh, the 3D market. Some people can draw great 2D stuff and want to build a game. Um, there's a market out there for 3D creations as well. So reality is Unstock basically captures unique opportunities for creative content. Uh, and we'd like to solve that problem and, and get people oh, actually to have unique content instead of just stock photography. Thank you. Judges, your three minutes starts now. Could this be graphic design to not just photography? Yeah, so we, we, there is a site out there that does graphic design today. Uh, so 99designs does this model today with illustrations. You can do logos design and stuff like that. Um, so they exist. We didn't want to go into that space right off the bat. Um, but any, pretty much any creative content. It's really about taking somebody who has a creative idea and linking them to the creatives that can actually help them accomplish it besides. Yeah, so we, we do have um, a site up for getting some people to sign up and send emails in today. We have that up and live right now. We have, we've created our Twitter accounts and stuff like that went through the social media. We have parts of the back end done. There's some things that I quite honestly want legally done before we actually launch because there's copyright involved. Um, we also need some terms of service and EULA and stuff before we could actually, because one of the problems is if you go shoot in Milwaukee, you actually have to have a, you have to have a license to do commercial work. In case you didn't know that, so there's a lot of little legal legalities we wanted to look into. So if you're in public space, you got to be a little careful. Why give the rights away versus resell the photo? Because we want it to be unique. So if I have a creative thought process, 
and I know what I want. So for instance, I, I threw out this other example where I really want somebody to shoot me a, a picture of a ballerina on the break wall with water, which is risky. But I could actually provision three different jobs for that. I could provision one for each of those photos for the two for a green screen and then one of the actual break wall with water hitting it and then have somebody else cop it together. I don't want somebody else to have that. I don't want it to show up in another ad campaign next to me. I want it to be unique and it's my unique creation. I'm just working with other creatives in the market to build it. Because otherwise we could just be another stock photography site. In reality, as, as you saw, it's not very easy to find some things you want. We're trying to look at the market that's missing right now. Yeah, how do you get a photo of, of the fonts and a pink tutu otherwise? I just worry that it's going to be an empty theater because it's such a geographic, like 99 designs, you can design a logo from anywhere. But a photo of bronze fonts, it's in one specific location, much less if you add a, a requirement to what needs to be on the font. Mm -hmm. Is there a way that you could see the other side of the platform by pushing out notifications to commercial photographers? So that's, that's actually the goal. So, so that's the goal actually, right? I'm, I'm planning to put out basically a quest, and that quest may be regional. And we're going to do a push notifications through a mobile platform then to the photographers out in the field saying, hey, you have a gig. Think of it this way. If I'm a photographer or a videographer doing footage in a weekend, like I'm down in Chicago for the weekend. Right. I have a gig, but I have four hours of downtime. If I can pull out my phone and say, what can I go maybe possibly make some money shooting and just get some more time in, I have another opportunity to make more revenue. Well, I don't think all the photos have to be either. It could just no. be, it could you be. want the Shutterstock photo, you want your own for us personally. Yeah, I want exactly a photo of, of this building <coughs> at this time of day because that's what I want. Can you talk to the specific market of who's going to buy these services? My, my naive understanding would be that creators have got their photographers and their channels. So who would you use yeah. more So we want to go after a really small agency starting off, agencies that don't have that technical staff to go out and shoot photography and videography, and also small businesses who really don't have that capability today. They reach out to creatives today, but they're limited to who they know. Um, this actually eventually builds a bigger social network around this, and we do rating and everything else. So. Okay, we got it. Thank you. Thank you.